Hi everyone, welcome back. All right, I got a great palette for you today. I did pre-order it when it was available for pre-order. This is from Strobe Cosmetics. This is the Creepy Cute eyeshadow palette. Um, all matte shades. They're cruelty-free, vegan, woman-owned. It's the back of the box. This is the palette itself. This has the most incredible magnetic closure I think I've ever seen on a palette. And just listen to this. It, it's a heavy duty. I mean, I'm pushing on this. It's a heavy duty magnet. And this palette's $35. Now, I do have other strobe. I finally moved them into a bigger Z palette. These here. So I do have it on today. I used the shade just because I don't want all mattes. What is this? Elixir. So I used Elixir, which is this purple, on the lid. Move that out of the way. Let me zoom you in. Hope you can see this. I can put lashes on for you guys. I went all out. Okay. So on the lid is the Elixir. Then these are the shades here. So I put the mint green shade, which is called Creep It Real, in the crease. And then Strawberry Milk is just on the brow bone. Uh, no. Yes. Creep It Real is also on the lower lash line. And of course, on the inner corner, cold shoulder, this blue. So that's there. I don't know how. Hope you guys can see that. And we'll get into the highlight and all that. Right now, we're going to concentrate on this. Let me zoom you back out. <laughs> okay. Now, what I did here is I put some milk, um, the white NYX. Because I want to show you guys a finger swatch. Because these are pastel, except for the black, obviously. Of how it would look, you know, just with even a brush swatch I might start with first. And then over the top of the white base, how it really brings out the color. All right, so we're going to start. I'm just going to go right in order. Right here, this way. So we have Tombstone, which is a gray. And I have all different brushes for this, too. Okay, so we're going to go into the gray here. And these are highly, highly pigmented. Now, this is a brush swatch. So it's like, wow. I mean, these are one of these palettes of you are just going to take your brush and dab it into this. No swirling needed, none of that. Just lightly dab it. And then here it is over the white base. So white base is always going to, you know, amp up a color. So that's with a brush, and that's over the white, over the next. So I'm going to put this brush aside. i got all different brushes. Just more brushes to clean today. Can't wait. Now we're going to go into the purple, which is called Planchette. Again, I'm just pressing my brush into the color. So here it is on the... I can do this with you guys. Oh boy, this will be interesting. Now, being this is pastel, it doesn't show up as much, you know, on the skin. But this is still incredibly pigmented for a pastel shade. Now I'm going to put it over the white, over the NYX, and you can see how the the white base will brighten, you know, any color that you're using. So this is a brush swatch. Here it is over the primer. Remember when I did the Kat Von D with a brush? That's what I was expecting. And didn't come close. Where am I putting the... Oh, so I'll put them in this little bag here. So the ones I've used. Then we're going to go into the green, which is Creep It Real. I have just another Delium brush here. Like I said, I'm just pressing it in and you can see the amount of product that gets picked up right, let's try this again oh my God. put my glasses back on what are i doing i can see what i'm doing here okay because usually pastels you have to really build them up i mean and for a brush 
to come off that good, you know these are good product. Now again, I'm just lightly touching the pan. I'm gonna go over the white nicks part. And I have the green on my lower lash line over the Stila. So there it is over the white. And you can see this brush is, they're highly pigmented, it's crazy. So I love their products. Now we're gonna go into Cold Shoulder, which is the blue that's on my inner corner. This might be my favorite inner corner shade I found in a while. So again, we'll go in between here, which is right here. This is harder than it looks doing this backwards. Wait a minute. Let me just press in again. Now the funny thing is, I swatched these last, was it last night? Last night or the night before. So here is the blue with just the brush. I had done just the green and the blue, a quick little swatch. And I had other swatches on my hand, so they were kind of like right here on my elbow. Or my elbow, my, el my elbow, <laughs> my wrist bone. <laughs> and I happened to have a sweatshirt on. So of course, like, you know, I wasn't even paying attention. The sweatshirt came down, so I had the, you know, material rubbing against my arm. Hours later, I was like, oh, I pulled back the sweatshirt. There were still swatches. There was no primer, nothing. I was shocked. I was like, oh my God, that's some pigmented stuff there. So on the blue, when I did it on my inner corner, I used my NYX faux white pencil that I use all the time. These ones. This is in, what's it called, baby powder. These are what I always use as the inner corner for the highlights. Sorry if this is going to take a while, but I wanted to really show you the difference. So there it is over white, a white base. Put that brush away. Now we're going to go to the bottom. We have strawberry milk. I mean, you could just see from dabbing that brush, they are so incredibly pigmented. So this is like a light, you know, peachy shade, like a strawberry shade. So there it is by itself. I have no primer on my arm, nothing. The only thing I'm putting it over is the NYX. Sorry I didn't go live last night. I was hurting so bad. And I don't want to come on here and be miserable. I want to come on here and have fun. Okay, so there is Strawberry Milkshake over the white NYX base. Put that brush away. Now we're gonna go into Take a Hint, which is this green. This is Cosette brush. I just grabbed a bunch of flat brushes. You will see kick up in the pan, don't worry about it. It's just easier if I do it this way. Okay, so there it is just from the brush, bare skin. Lightly tapping in again. Gonna go over the NYX. Yeah, don't forget you can, oh, and even if you wanna always change up a color or make it deeper, use a black base. But on pastel shades, I always use either coordinating shade. Say if I had, you know, I was using the purple, I would put on maybe a purple base, but the white really brings it out. Oh shoot, I hit the wrong color. Oh boy. Hold on. I grabbed the other green. Okay. That's where I touched it with the other green. So here it is here. Right there. Over the NYX milk. That brush aside. What do I got here? The black. Did I grab a brush for black? No. I don't tend to use black shades. I mean, I can tell this is just going to be insane. It's pretty dark. So there's the black on its own. Let me do the black over the white. Which might make it look gray. I'm not sure. I know I suck at swatches. That's okay. 
I just figured it'd be a fun way to show you guys the difference of how these. So there's the, I did that terrible, sorry. But the black is buildable, without a doubt. That out of the way, that out of the way. And now we're going to go into Third Eye, which is a beautiful orangey, peachy shade. This one here. Let me do this. And like I said, they're all mattes. And I love strobes, um, like metallic and shimmer shades. Okay, so there's the peach on its own. And then when you put it over the white, it really brings it out. And for $35, this is it. Okay, so there is the Creepy Cute Palette from Strobe Cosmetics. Love it, love it, love it. I actually like that they threw in a gray, because I did use the slightest bit of gray on the very outer V. Because I don't like to use a lot of black, but I do like a little gray in there. But everything blended beautifully. Wow. And like I said, this just the way this thing snaps. I mean, you have to put a little work into opening this. So there is Creepy Cute. It is definitely fabulous. There are the swatches. Hope everyone has a fabulous day. I have more to show you. Don't worry. All right. I'll see you all soon. Bye.